What's up guys, Adi Reza here and welcome back to another video. In this one I'll showcase a plugin called Metashoot. This is a very impressive and well designed plugin and it can have a significant impact on your rendering workflows. It will simplify your process in lighting, setting up cameras and rendering. The developers provided me with the plugin to showcase its capabilities to you guys. I worked with it for a couple of days and I really enjoyed it. For my first project with Metashoot, I decided to create a teaser for the notorious Apple Vision Pro, which I'll never buy for obvious reasons, but I'm completely willing to download this 3D model for free. Obviously, the first step here is to find a model to work with. I downloaded this model from Sketchfab and there are a couple of free 3D models here for the headset which are really high quality and perfect for the job. For the materials I use a pack called Automotive Materials which is completely free and you are able to grab it from the Epix Marketplace. These are really high quality materials and gave me exactly what I wanted. But of course you can also go with Quixel as well and use their materials instead. After downloading the package, all you need to do here is just explore the materials and find the ones you like. They are really easy to adjust and you are able to make a lot of materials by just tweaking a couple of settings. After I finished setting up the materials, I dropped the Metashoot Studio into the level and started playing with the lights, assets, cameras and all the features it offers. It's so easy to use and everything here is self-explanatory. You are able to choose these pre-made studios and then adjust them as you like. The whole studio is a blueprint actor and when you choose one of these guys here, it will automatically remove the previous ones in the scene and replace it with the one you selected. They all have different vibes and are set up in multiple ways, so you can choose one of them based on your goal. Here in this case, I just wanted a simple setup with a black background, so I simply chose this one here and then adjusted it a little. The headset is a shiny object with a lot of metal and glass, so managing the lights here is extremely important. Here we have access to a wide variety of lights with different sizes and you have everything you need for a professional studio. The lights are completely adjustable and you can make them work exactly as you need. They have some functionalities that you don't have in your simple Unreal lights. For example, they are locked to a target by default so you can easily adjust them in the scene. The diffuser and grid are also adjustable and can have a considerable effect on your lighting. There are all sorts of settings here which you can explore and they can become handy in different lighting scenarios. Another cool thing here is the turntable which enables you to attach your model to a turning table and when you play the level or make a sequence it will automatically rotate the model for you so you are able to capture it from different angles easily. In this video I will not cover all of the assets and settings here one by one but if you are interested to know more about the plugin you can go to their YouTube channel and watch their videos and tutorials. They have covered all of the features and made a couple of step-by-step -step tutorials about it so you won't have any problem working with the plugin. Here in my project I wanted to keep everything simple so I used the big key light and then added another one under the headset to cover it properly. After that I just made a sequencer and added some keyframes for the camera's transition. Controlling the camera is a little tricky and weird things happen but it's manageable and once you get a good understanding about the sequencer and how it works you are able to make some good camera animations even if you are a beginner in Unreal. In their original video for the Apple Vision Pro, they had this really cool moving highlight effect and I really liked the idea so I decided to remake it in my project. All I did was animating the light and make it move towards the model and this is what I got. I am pretty happy with what I got with only a couple of clicks although it's not as good as the original one. After all, it's Apple and they probably hired the best CG artists in the market for the job, so don't compare them to yourself, otherwise you'll just get sad. To wrap up the project, I added a couple of camera animations to the sequence and that's it. You just need to try to find the best angles of your model and also manage the camera properly to get a decent result for your animation. The render settings here are really easy to set up as well. I am using the low quality settings with only 4 spatial samples and 2 temporal samples to make the rendering as fast as possible. I am also not using Path Tracer and I am using Base Renderer which is not as high quality as the Path Tracer but it's faster and puts less pressure on the hardware. 
So I basically used the worst settings here and the result was astonishingly good. After I rendered the sequence, I just imported the images into Premiere and made the sequence. Then I added this PNG image and that's it. There is no color correction here and I didn't even touch the exposure or the contrast and this is my final result. I am not a product visualization expert, but I was able to achieve a good result in a very short period of time. It's really easy to make something like this even if you are a beginner, so if you are interested in a step-by-step -step tutorial about rendering simple animations in Unreal, please leave a comment below. Also, in order to grab the plugin, just search for Metashoots in the marketplace and you will be able to find it easily. I will also leave the links in the description. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would mean a lot for the future of this channel. Catch you later.